Good morning. So today I have my oldest with me. We are actually going to try doing an unboxing and we will be unboxing Stitch Fix today. So this is my Stitch Fix. It came in the mail. Not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Stitch Fix. Um, I have been using Stitch Fix for a little over a year. About a year. About a year. A little over a year, maybe. And I actually have gotten some really great pieces from them. And so I have no idea what's in here. So we thought that we would unbox it and show you what is inside. Um, I have quite a few friends that I know have been curious about Stitch Fix and um, some that have actually started trying Stitch Fix. And also I have to give a shout out to my dancer baby, Julie. I have a proud dancer mama moment. My baby, Julie, is an actual stylist for Stitch Fix now. So anyways, we got it. We got to help her represent. So anyways, we're going to open it on up and see what's in it. Did you grab anything sharp? Did you grab anything no. sharp? <laughs> okay, so the way Stitch Fix works is once a month you receive a package in the mail. Um, it is $20 a month. That is your styling fee. And you get five items. Could be clothes, shoes, jewelry. We've had a little bit of everything. Okay, so we got the box open. And inside the box, we have, this is the envelope that they send you to return items, to return any items that you are not going to keep. So comes with a, an envelope to return it and comes with a little envelope inside. Uh, it has a little note says your stylist thought these would look great on you. And inside you get a little oh hello card that when you unwrap it has all the pieces inside that they are sending in this order and um, little other pieces, pieces with it that you can pair. So it kind of gives you some outfit ideas and you get a personal little note from your stylist. My stylist this time was Teresa. Um, so I will, I will, I will read this in a little bit and then you get the price list, which lets you know how much, everything is that you would like to keep. Now, the way it works right now, if I decide that I like the whole um, uh, order that came, then I can purchase the whole thing for a discounted price. Um, and if not, I can keep some items and only pay for those and then send the others back and they deduct your styling fee from the total amount. So whatever I decide to purchase, um, I minus $20 and then that's what I guess the remainder that I end up paying. So anyways, we're going to take a look and see what they sent. So those are in the box. Okay. So first item looks like, a sweater. Oh, it's a sweater. Yeah. Okay. So as soft as I it's, it's, it's pretty soft actually. Okay. So this is a little different. Okay. This is a, um, called a Wren and Willa. Okay. It's a bell sleeve knit top. Okay. So we'll try this on and see, and this is the color. The lighting is really bad. This is kind of a, it's not terrible. a brown good for fall because that's the season we're in right now. Color. Of a tree. Here you hold that. If it's color color of a tree. Um, oh, okay. Now we've got a jacket, a jeans jacket. This is new. I haven't had a jacket yet. This is very exciting. Are those pops or unbuttoned? These are they are button. Oh, so okay. they don't unpop. They don't unpop. There are no snaps. This is an Andrew Mark performance. Okay, so let's we'll try this on. Okay, so that's two items. Third item is a short shirt. Okay, so here's the front and then here's the back. So a little top here. This one is the, 
paper moon top, okay? So we'll try this one on and see. And we've got wait, one, two, three, four, fourth item. Okay, is this front or back? That's fine. Okay, this is front. Okay, so this is also it's kind of an olive green. I don't know if you can. Okay, so this is the front. This is the back. So this is that's cute. Actually. Yes, this is pretty cute. So this is a Sophie Rue. Okay. And it looks like I have a pair of dress pants in here. Okay, I do not have dress pants, so this will be nice if these fit and are a good price for me. So these are coot from the cloth. Oh, cut from the cloth. It's all spelled in case. <laughs> cut from the cloth. Okay, and these are kind of um kind of a light gray. So anyway, so um so I'm going to try these items on and um, we'll show you a little bit and see what we think of them on. So far, pretty cute, pretty cute. These just, just from my overall, just first glance, these would be a staple item that I would be able to use with a lot of things and I do not have. So this would be lovely. This is cute, but might not be my style. And like this it. is, it's kind of an okay color on me, but um, like my, my oldest child likes it. So if I do keep this, it would be probably in her closet. This is kind of not my style as far as having a print on the back. So um, we'll see. Sometimes they're super cute on. And then um, this is really my style. I haven't, although I do have a jeans jacket, but it doesn't fit really well, truth be told. And this actually has some stretch. So this would be a nice it's staple a item. Jacket. It's kind of a jegging jacket. And this is super cute, but... Um, I could see you wearing it. Yeah, not a necessity. It would be mostly for a fall thing. So um, I'm going to try these on and see what I think. Oh, one thing that I have found with Stitch Fix, which was really nice, is they have found me the perfect fit in a pair of jeans. It took a few tries, um, but I hate jeans shopping. I hate going and pulling them all and the different sizes and it's depressing. So um, I try to make myself feel better and pull about two sizes larger than I think I really am. And usually they're too large and then it makes me feel good that I have to go down a size. So um, the Stitch Fix has been really good. In fact, these are Stitch Fix pair of jeans that I'm wearing right now. They're kind of uh, jeggings. They've got a lot of stretch to them. Um, one of the things that I really like about Stitch Fix is the fact that I don't have time to go out and shop. I never shop for myself. It's only my kids because that's what moms do. And I've had a lot of health issues the past couple of years. So my weight, has been fluctuating and right now I'm, I'm at the heaviest that I've ever been in my entire life and I'm working on losing weight right now so I don't really want to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe I just need a couple key pieces that will actually kind of stretch with me and <laughs> stretch down with me and that's what I have found I have three pairs of pants actually that I've gotten from Stitch Fix I have jeans and then I have a pair that are kind of like a gray jean and then um black stretch pants and they're really comfortable especially because as I'm going up and down um, they stretch with me and when I'm sitting down they're not cutting in on me like regular jeans these are regular jeans so they do kind of cut in on me after a while the other ones actually have a little bit more stretch so I'm gonna try these on and we'll show you and um, kind of let you know how we kind of figure it out all right okay so Here's first items. This is a jeans jacket and it actually fits really well. It is really stretchy, which my other one is not. Um, it's a little shorter than I think that I, well, no, I guess that's about style right now. So anyways, here's jeans jacket. My children like it. So, um, so this is, this is a maybe, this is a maybe. It is actually very, very, very comfortable. Um, probably not super, super warm, but no jeans jacket really is, but it is very, very stretchy in the arms, which I like. 
Um, it, they may not be able to, yeah, I actually can kind of button it. Okay, that's kind of a good thing. Okay, all right, so this is item number one. Opinion of teen. All right, okay, this is the second item. Okay, so this is the sweater. Got a little bit of a bell sleeve. It's actually, um, it's actually fairly comfortable. It fits. I would have to get used to the sleeves. I hear it's in, but I haven't done a whole lot of things with bell sleeves before, so I don't know. Um, opinion of teen? It looks like you're wearing someone's shirt that's way too big. It looks like I'm wearing someone's shirt that's way too big. That is the opinion of my teen. Okay, so this is probably a no because um, I don't love it enough for the price. So um, we will try on the next okay, item. So the next item is the kind of the olive green shirt. It's kind of a knit material. Um, it fits. I can see the look on this one's face. <laughs> so Wait, no. the 13 year old actually kind of liked it. Here's the back. I like it. You do I, like it? Yes, it's something I would wear. It's something that she would wear. Okay. Why did you think I don't like I don't know. You made a funny face in the camera. So we'll see. We'll see what if we get this piece. So anyways, it's kind of lightweight, which is nice um, because my hormones have been running amok and I get very, very warm easily. So um, it's okay. So this is maybe a possibility. So I... The, the lighting is really bad, so you can't really see the color. It's really good, but it's like a very deep, like an olive, almost a forest green. So, okay. I think we have two more pieces, I think. Okay. We'll come back. Okay, so this is the fourth item. So this is the other top. Um, this is the back. It's a little flowy. It's kind of a little bit see-through. To probably wear something underneath it. Um, anyways, opinion teen? No. No. Teen does not like this one. <laughs> what is it you don't like? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just kind of not a polka dot kind of girl. I usually wear polka dots, but that it, is it's not kind of cute. accentuating like this area on me right now that I don't want to accentuate. But they're both like they ran out of material, so they put another piece on. Okay, so it looks like they ran out of material, put another piece on, according to my team. So this is this would probably be a no. So um, I have one more piece left, and then I'm going to have to make some decisions. All right, so last piece. All right, so the last item is pants. So I still have this shirt on, but the, this is the dress pants. They're gray. Um, they actually fit really well. They're actually really comfortable and I can sit. There's a lot of stretch with them and um, a lot of stretch in the thigh area, which is really nice. This is a totally unflattering camera angle and lighting. So I kind of am looking at it going, Ugh, but um, it's actually cuter in real life. So anyway, so these are kind of a dress pant. The pockets actually lay pretty well. The only thing is, there's this back pocket, these faux pockets, which actually are leaving a little line across my tushy. <laughs> Let's figure out why it's doing that, because it doesn't go any deeper, but it's leaving, like, a line. So, anyways, these are a maybe. Um, at this point in my life, I don't really have any places that I go where I need to wear. There goes a cat. Um, business dress pants. These are, this would definitely have been awesome in my teaching days when I was having to go in and um, look professional. Um, they're a good staple to have. I don't know, you know, we'll look at price wise and see what I can afford. They're not a necessity at this time, but they are a nice staple piece. Um, so anyways, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's the fifth item. So I'm going to change back into my regular clothes because we don't want to get anything on the ones that are going to be going back. And then, um, popping now. the seam is popping. No, like, like, it's honey, that's like, fat. No, it's, it's the seam. No, you can see the seam like pop out like this a little bit. We'll say it's the seam. No, it is. And the not seam. cellulite. Like, look, look, I can squeeze it and I'm not touching it. Okay. Well, 
We'll see. They actually are pretty well made, but that might be just an ironing issue. So I'm going to change back into my normal clothes while my child nitpickies did. Um, I can't see it beyond my cellulite, but um, we'll, I'll look in the mirror. All right, I'm going to go change. All right, so I tried on all the pieces. This fix actually fit me really well. Sometimes there's fixes where, oh, my hair is doing something weird. There's fixes where um, something's not quite fitting right. Um, the nice thing with Stitch Fix is they're very detailed when you fill out your profile. And if I'm gaining any weight or losing any weight or inches anywhere, I can update that profile at any time and send the stylist a note letting her know. Um, another thing they do is they will follow your um, Pinterest board if you have a Pinterest account and um, they pay attention to what you pin. And if it's something you like, um, I have a child crawling through the, <laughs> crawling on the floor to get to the other side and not in the shot. So anyways, um, we took some shots outside just so we could try to see the color a little better because this was, I was in a really unflattering light and horrible camera angle, which makes me feel like I look about 30 pounds heavier than I actually am right now. Okay, so <laughs> I'm losing my light quickly. So um, thank goodness for having a husband that works for um, CBS and has a light kit in his car. He literally has lights shining in my dining room window right now from outside. So um, anyways, that kind of helps with that one and is a little bit more flattering than the lights that I had originally. So anyways, uh, we took a picture of each piece. Um, so I will put those up while I'm kind of telling you what they are. And I will also tell you the price of them. So we have the, um, the cut from the cloth, which is the rose boot cut pant. And it is described in color navy. It's kind of a navy gray. Um, it is $78. Um, it fits very well, actually, and they're really, really comfortable. They would be a staple piece if I had more um, business functions to go to, or even if I had some like dressy occasions coming up with the holidays. Right now, I don't, so that's not on my priority list, but it's something that um, I think that I could wear for years, even with dropping some pounds. Um, and then we have the Tink French Terry Bell Sleeve Knit Top. From Ren and Willis and that one is $64 that one it's not a necessity I know it's trendy with the bell sleeves right now um I don't know it would have to grow on me I, I don't I don't love 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 it enough right now for the um for that price because I'm this time around I'm really limited on my budget because the holidays are coming up um, then I've got the Marisol, oh, the Paper Moon Marisol Mixed Material Three-Quarter Sleeve Knit Top, which is, which one is that one? Okay, that's the one that's not, um, that's not a favorite of my girls or I. That one is going for $38, so that's the, the cheapest one in this fix. Um, then we have the Sophie Rue Gellert Lattice Detail Knit Top. And that one, it's kind of cute. And I could probably wear that for casual or maybe dress it up a little bit. Um, it fit well. It is um, comfortable. That one's running for $46. And then the Andrew Mark Performance Inverness French Terry Jacket. That was probably my favorite piece out of this fix um, and something that I actually need while I do have at the moment, I have a jeans jacket. Since I have put on a few pounds, it is really uncomfortable and I do not like to wear it for very long if I can help it. This one was really comfortable. It stretched with me but it didn't look like it was stretching. It really looks like it's denim. That piece is going for 78. So out of all the pieces, I 
probably this time around we'll actually get one piece. Um, I will probably get the jacket just because it's something that I do need right now. Um, so it's priced at 78, but because I already have a $20 styling fee that's credited in, it actually worked out to be 58, which for me, that's a pretty good price for a jacket, um, especially one that's going to last me for quite a while and I can wear it pretty much in all seasons. <laughs> so anyway, so that's how Stitch Fix works. So now what I do, and I will go on to my account and I will give them my feedback on each piece. They're very detailed on, on they, they give you like a little, little online form and you just click like it, love it, hate it <laughs> on, and they'll go through the fit, the cut, the style, um, the price. Is it too high, too low, just right? And then they have a little place for you to leave comments. So I'm really detailed with them. And because of that, I've, I've been able to communicate really well with the stylists. And um, there was a while there where I felt like I was sending back everything. Either it didn't fit me well or it just was not my style. And I sent back like three or four fixes in a row and I almost gave up. And, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to reach out to the stylist a little more. And so I actually went back, changed my profile a little bit and started adding a little bit more detail. And, um, I, the last fix that came, I actually kept two items and, um, it was a pair of pants and a top and I love them. I have worn them several times since then. Um, I like the more classic pieces that I can wear and mix and match with a lot of things and that aren't really going to go out of style too quick. I'm not really into a lot of the trendy stuff. Um, so anyways, it's this time around, I think I probably will keep the jacket. So what I'll do, go online and do what I'll do check out. They give you three days to go online and check out. And, um, all my info is already there. I just will click the item that I want and go through checkout and then I will take this this bag here and I will put the other items into this bag and seal it up and literally I stock my mailman and when I see him coming I bring this out and hand it to him. Um, you can take it straight to the post office. They have a label and postage is paid but sometimes um, depending on where you go you have a drop-off fee so um, I just hand it straight to my mailman. The other nice thing that Stitch Fix does is because they all come in various size boxes. So you're getting a box every month and some people, you know, you either recycle it or use it for something. They actually have a program where you can go on their website and pick um, a charity to donate clothes to. And you can have the label printed up and use their box, send any of your clothes that you would like to donate in the box with that, and the postage is paid for you. So um, that's kind of a nice thing. So you can clean out your closet and um, as new items come in and donate it, and you get to pick where it goes. So it's um, so far I've been really, I really like the company. Um, I've had some good pieces come through for me. And um, I'm going to stick with them a little while longer. Um, the other nice thing is, for example, we are going into the holidays. So our budget's really, really tight right now. So I can choose if I want to skip a fix. I usually end up skipping um, in December unless I have an event coming up, which you can let your stylist know if you have an event coming up and if you're looking for something specific and they will send you. Um, items. I had a trip to Vegas last year with my girlfriends and I let my stylist know about two months ahead. So for two fixes, I had like Vegas clothes come in and I think I actually did get a couple pieces and wore them in Vegas. So um, if you have a holiday party coming up, if you're looking for something really dressy, dressy, just let them know. Um, I usually end up having to, to skip my December though, because even if you send everything back, the only thing you're charged is your styling fee, which for me is $20, um, which is really not a big deal, but because they tend to send me really cute stuff a lot of times, always at the time that I don't have a lot that I can spend and I have to make a lot of decisions and it breaks my heart and I want to keep it all. 
Um, so I just don't tempt myself and I skip my December <laughs> and then I will start back up in January. So it's kind of fun because it's kind of like you go through the holidays and then you have like a little gifty of your own afterwards. So anyways, um, try it if, if you feel, and you can cancel at any time. I've, I've, um, a little over a year now I've been doing it and I've had some good luck. So anyways, um, hope this was helpful for you. And I will see you later.